Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the xhunter onecs blue screen errors in Windows 10. xhunter onecs is a Windows driver that allows your computer to communicate with hardware or connected devices. Quite a few players have reported those xhunter onecs blue screen errors that can arise when trying to play or install PUBG Lite and PUBG Mobile with Android emulators such as the Tencent Gaming Body. But even though this type of system file is not essential for Windows, it can often cause problems. So let's take a look at a few possible solutions to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is disabling antivirus software. To do this, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type Windows Security. Then click on Windows Security. In the Windows Security window, just click on Virus and Threat Protection. Now select the Manage Settings option, then you can switch the Real-Time Protection option off. In addition, you can also switch off the cloud-based protection and limited periodic scanning settings. If you've installed a third-party antivirus utility, you'll need to disable that. To do so, right-click the antivirus tool system tray icon and select the disable or shutdown context menu option. Select to disable it for a few hours and then try playing the game the BSOD issue arises for. Another useful solution is updating Windows 10. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and then writing settings. Then click the settings option. Now navigate to update and security section. There you have to click check for updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. You can also scan system files. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner, then writing CMD. Then right click the command prompt and run as administrator. But before you utilize the SFC tool, enter the following command in command prompt and press enter. Afterwards, just restart Windows if the DISM tool makes any changes. Then reopen the command prompt and input sfc slash scan now in the prompts window. Then press enter to initiate the sfc scan which might take 20 to 30 minutes. Restart Windows if the sfc scan informs you that it repaired files. And another great solution is restoring Windows to a previous date. To start with, click the search button in the lower left corner and type run. Once you open the run window, type the following command RSTRUI. Then click OK to launch System Restore. Select the Choose a different restore point option if there's a recommended restore point. Then select the next option to continue. To see a full list of restore points, click the Show more restore points checkbox. If you're not sure what date to choose, just make sure to choose the oldest restore point you can. Press the next button to proceed to restore point confirmation and click finish to confirm your selected restore point and initiate the Windows restoration process. You have to note that rolling Windows 10 back deletes software installed before a selected restore point. To get an overview of what programs a restore point deletes, click scan for affected programs button in the system restore tool. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.